back and it's me, Mr. Daryl, and today we're going to talk about MUAD writing paper question 2. What is question 2? Question 2 is extended writing. So want to know more? Let's jump into the next. Alright, so in this video we're going to discuss several things. First is the format, second is sample questions, and the rest is Q&A. So Q&A you can write um, at the comment section down below and I can try to answer whatever question that you have in your mind. Alright, let's move on. Alright, question 2, extended writing, 60 marks. Previously in question 1, it's 40 marks. This is 60 marks which brings in total for writing paper 100 marks. Alright, candidates are advised to spend about 50 minutes to complete this question. Candidates are required to write an essay in not less than 350 words based on the topic given. So, in a normal day, you won't really count one by one and I am Mr. Daryl like four words, no. But in reality, if you look at 350 words, 350 words is equivalent somewhere to uh, how to say, page one, page two and a half according to my experience as a teacher. Alright, remember, page one, page two, and a half. So if you can write that long, it's good. If you can write longer, go ahead. Alright, question two, sample. So here I have two samples for you, sample one and sample two. Let's look at sample number one. Failure is the first step to success. What is your opinion? Support your answer with examples. You should write at least 350 words. If you look at question number one over here, practice seven, this is a question about opinion. What is your opinion? That means it's open-ended. Sukahati, you will not buy the opinion. All right, second part, second examples. Practice A, peer pressure can help mold a student's life. Do you agree? Illustrate your answer with examples. You should write again, at least 350 words. Alright, here it's a bit different from practice 7 which is about opinion. Practice 8 is about your whether you agree or not. So you can write whether you agree or you disagree. You cannot write I agree and disagree. You have to be strong. You have to say that okay I agree, I disagree. So that is for the samples. There's a lot more samples but you can search it online you know. All right. Moving on. Alright, for extended writing, there can be several questions, several um, examples. So here, I have four examples of questions that might come out. So first can be problem solution, which requires you to recognize the problem and provide solutions. Remember, solutions, more solutions, don't give more problem. Second part is compare and contrast. So for compare and contrast, you have to give difference and similarities of an issue given in your essay just now. Okay, three. The third example could be justify an opinion. Justify an opinion by providing reasons. All right. And lastly, a discussion. Discuss about a problem and provide issues or contents about the problem okay i know it might be confusing but this could be what's coming up for your moed exam this weekend we do not know whether it's problem solution whether it's compass and contrast justify an opinion or discuss we do not know but be ready all right moving on so here is an approach to writing so in stage 1, for writing, for stage 1 is reading. Make sure you read the question properly, you read, you analyze, you bring a highlighter, you highlight things that you think is important. Remember the tips here, bring a highlighter, highlight the points. It's very, very important. Second part is drafting. Drafting is creating structure. That means, uh, you know, the tulang tulang ikan or A, B, C, D, whatever things that you want to do, mind map, vitaminda, whatever you think is suitable for your preference, do it. This is in drafting. That means 
buat kereta minda ataupun buat rangka NPM. Next, the important part is writing. That means when you already draft, and then the next part you write, write your essay. Okay. And last one, if you have time, remember if you have time, don't spend too much time on editing or revision, revise your essay. So here in revise or editing, you can look at your essay and think, okay, this might not be the answer or maybe this is not right. The grammatically, it doesn't sound good. So you can edit, edit a bit and a bit. All right, don't spend too much time on editing. Instead, spend more time in writing your at least 350 words. All right, here, I advise you to write in 50 minutes. Don't go more than that because if you go more than that, you lose time. Because remember, this is 60 marks. All right, moving on. So in pre-writing, like I said just now, do read the question carefully, highlight the important words, list your ideas briefly, and put it in a diagram. Like I said, bring your highlighter, highlight the important things. And you have your own diagram later in, Drafting. So for drafting, create your brief outline. This is a bit technical. Remember, do not spend too much time to draft your outline. Instead, just put points. Don't write full sentence because it's just a waste of time. Remember to write points and later connect it in writing. Alright? So here, introduction. Introduction, you have to write your thesis statement. That means what is your essay about? Whether it's about opinion, whether you agree or disagree, what is your discussion, whatever it is, remember to write a very, very strong thesis statement. All right, for body, I have a formula for you. T-E-E-E-L. I repeat, T-E-E-E-L, which stands for T, topic sentence, which is your idea. E elaboration point what is your point over there e example another e explanation and the last one is linking sentence which is your mini conclusion so this is my formula for you all t e e e l remember t triple e and l where T stands for topic sentence, your idea, elaboration, your point, example, giving your examples, explanation, explain the examples, and last but not least, linking sentence, mini conclusion. Do this for at least three times for your body of your essay. And the last one, you can put conclusion. That means you conclude everything, okay? So introduction to thesis statement, characteristic of a strong thesis statement, there's four. Remember, first one is takes a stand. That means whether you want to say yes, you want to say no, whether you agree or you disagree. Remember, choose. Do not be in the middle. Don't be like lalang, you know, lalang, like this. <laughs> Don't be that. Remember, strong, choose yes or no, agree or disagree. All right, next, justify your discussion. That means indicate the point of discussion. Next, express your main idea. And lastly, remember to be specific. Show what your essay is about and suggest. Four key point, strong characteristic of a strong thesis statement. First, you have to take a stand. Second, justify your discussion. Next, express your idea. Last but not least, you have to be specific. In this part, is the exciting part which is to write. So get your pen and go. Get set, go, write. Write everything according to the point that, um, how do you say, you have write in your draft just now and use linking words or maybe sequence connectors to connect your points so that it looks like one seamless essay ataupun essay yang ada kaitan yang bersambung dengan each other bukan satu 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 like that it's not going to work like that remember everything has to be connected in a circle 
next. Once you have finished writing your essay, you can edit or revise. Like I said, do not spend much time on this. So here, when you read and correct, one key important thing is to just use your pen. If you need, uh, how to say, if you need to correct something, just use your pen and cancel it. Do not use correction tape. Do not use liquid paper because it will bleed out. It means the mereba. So it can nampak sangat whatever you're looking, you're writing on. But, but if you just use your simple pen and just cancel and write on top, that will be better. I suggest it to you. All right. Okay. And that's it, guys. We have arrived in our last slide. So remember all these tips that I have given you and you can search for answers or you can search for the exercises that I've given you about Muad and practice, practice, practice before you enter the hall and all the best to you. May the force be with you and see you tomorrow for the next video which is about maybe listening or maybe reading. Alright, that's it guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.